Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Cracks That Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me Priyasha Das and today we'll be dealing with the conclusion type questions under the critical reasoning section. If you haven't visited my previous critical reasoning videos, make sure you give a visit to them as well because I have been making different videos for different types of questions under the critical reasoning which are really essential if you are targeting the ZAT because ZAT is something which will be completely like 80% of the paper in ZAT of the reading comprehension and of uh, the critical reasoning section combined comprises of these type of questions. So please make sure that you go through this playlist. Whatever different exams you are giving, make sure you continue with that preparation and just refer these tiny videos so that your preparation for all the examinations is complete. <laughs> all right. And before starting today's video as well, I would just like to give or mention a small point about using a particular language in the video. So I generally use English rather than Hindi. But the reason or the purpose behind that is not targeting a particular audience, but making you people spend a little more time with English as compared to before. Because generally, we talk about our home or friends and families with our mother language or mother tongue, which generally you know, decreases the amount of time we talk in English or we hear English. Like we might go across and like very well talk in English with someone. But the thing is that what, what have you decided after you clear the cutoff of that? <laughs> After you clear the cutoff of that, let me tell you that there are around 2,000 people or more than 2,000 people who clear the cutoff of uh, XLRI Jamshedpur and only 200 get selected out of it. I am talking about this 10% selection after you clear the cutoff in the right, uh, writing exam and then the various exams which come forward like the personal interview, GD round and various things like that. Un sabhi cheezo ko consider karne ke baad, only 10% of the 2000 people, that is 200 people, get selected in various different programs. Is ka matlab aap samaj sakte ho ki sirf clearing this paper is not enough to get into your dream college. Aap ko equally apne personality, apne way of talking and sari cheezo pe focus karna hoga. And that's the reason why I literally try to keep the videos in English because at least ye jo 10 minutes bhi aap video dekhoge, if you just hear the English, what will happen is that wo jo general terms hota hai na English ke ki means uh, ek chote chote Hindi terms ko mein English mein kya bolu, there is the point where people generally get confused. So if you constantly hear someone speaking in English entirely, so you would automatically gain something out of it. Ye indirect hota hai, involuntary hota hai. Aapko pata bhi nahi chalta and you could really realize that you, are start, you have started using few more words in English than compared to before. So isi liye I just try to keep the uh, videos in English. But I have no problem including Hindi in my videos as well. If you people are not able to understand anything. Please feel free to let me know in the comment section. I will definitely understand you. But this is my real purpose for keeping the videos in English. Alright. Lots of gyan done. Now we will move down to the real video. Okay. So here we are talking about the conclusion type question. So in this video what I will be doing is I will be just telling you about the common question stems which will help you to identify that it is a conclusion question. Now, it's very much obvious that when it when it is directly written in the question that which of the following is the conclusion of the argument, we have clearly understand that we have conclusion. But the story changes when the word conclusion is missing in the question, but we still have to understand that we need to find out the conclusion. So that can be understood like this. Which one of the following most accurately expresses the primary argument? So primary argument is nothing but the conclusion. Similarly, the author is arguing that. What does the author argue about? The author argues about the conclusion only. So that means you have to find out the conclusion. Similarly, if you have to say that which one of the following correctly expresses the main point of the author, then in that case, what should we do? We should find out the conclusion only. Main point or conclusion may koi khas difference nahi hota. So when we get this type of question, we know that we have to go for conclusion. 
Now, in my just immediately previous video on assumption type questions, I told you people that whenever you see something as of a suggestion or a course of action, like the government should do this or the people should follow this, any kind of suggestions or any kind of course of actions, when you see it in the options, please eliminate it when you are asked for an assumption. We have to do the exact opposite in the case of conclusion. So conclusions actually search for these kind of course of actions or these kind of suggestions only, which will finally conclude my entire passage. So if you have options, should or this kind of course of action, yeah, suggestion dikti hai. So please make sure that you people go for it and you people may just, you know, uh, keep it in your consideration and consider this for your final answer. Similarly, in uh, conclusion type questions, what are those options which we can generally eliminate? So those options which have a little bit of reason behind it that this happened because this happened or people are you know staying or sleeping hungry because the government is not providing them food these kind of sentences where which comes with a cause along with the effect are generally not the conclusion so conclusion mein hume generally koi reason nahi milta hai. so that's what we need to eliminate out of here all right so uh, in this was just a general thought about the conclusion Let's first move down to a question and try doing it. Okay. So I suggest you people to pause the video here. Try out this question on your own. And once you are up with the answer, replay this and check it with mine. Over here, it's mentioned a law that is not consistently enforced does not serve its purpose. Law without enforcement is not law. It is merely a stature or promise of law. To institute real law is not merely declare that such and such behavior is forbidden, but to punish those who violate to edict. Yani ki yahan pe clearly mention hai about law. Right now we are talking about law and what should be a law and what should not be a law. Furthermore, furthermore is an indicator about the further explanation. Those who enforce the law must punish without favor for their friends or without you can say malice for their enemies to punish only those who dislike while forgiving others is not to enforce law but to engage in the arbitrary and unjust exercise of power it's very simple i am pretty sure that the answer which you people found out would be matching with mine <laughs> let's see the main point of the passage is that instituting real law consists in what now, please try to understand here that the main point is nothing but the conclusion. All right. So we need to find out the conclusion. Let's start eliminating the, the most interesting thing. <laughs> Option A, the excise of power. Real law constitutes in the excise of power. This is what is mentioned in the last line that it should not be the excise of power. So option A gone. Ultimately, you need to understand the passage okay like uh, there are many times when you don't understand anything out of the passage then it becomes a bit difficult but yahan to hum clearly ye samajh pa rahe hain ki we are being discussed about ek law mein kya hona chahiye aur kya nahi hona chahiye and agar hum use uh, you know enforce karte hain that means apply karte hain upon someone then we should do it without any bias that means without any uh, favorable circumstances or malice circumstances so option B, authorizing the enforcement of punishments. Here, punishments ki baat nahi hui hai. You need to understand this carefully. Yahan par ye bola gaya hai ki you should punish those who deserve it, not those whom you dislike. So directly, it's, we are not talking about just the punishments. We are also talking about the people who are not guilty should also be left, right? So just enforcement of punishments is not the conclusion of the passage the unbiased punishment of prohibited behavior now this is something i mentioned before that law unbiased hona chahiye yani ki ye, ye thought mujhe aya this thought came to me and this was one of my shadow answers we can say so we can keep this option on hold until and unless we check option d and option e option d says understanding the purpose of law 
understanding the purpose of law no we are not understanding anything we want to give a suggestion that what should be done clearly defining unacceptable behavior we are not defining unacceptable behavior agar hum unacceptable behavior ko define kar rahe hote then we would have given examples of what is considered to be a you can say a punishable offense and what is not but yahan is paragraph mein hame kahi ye sab nahi dikha hai so that my that means my ultimate answer is the unbiased punishment of the forbidden behavior this is what i conclude from the passage i'm pretty sure you people have also got it right okay okay this is what you learned here in this video that how to go for this question i have another question on my screen right now and i want you people to take a screenshot and try it on your own i'll be up in the part 2 of this video where i'll be just giving up the solution to this so make sure you refer to the next video for the solution and if you get the answer right please go through the approach how i eliminated the other options and it's really going to be interesting so until i meet uh, until we meet again please take care and please like this video share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll be up with the solution video until then bye bye